Welcome citizens of Warframe! Oh shit, I see Sinny send off with your very, yeah? You, you guys been farming the very for a while now. Anyway, so today's video is gonna be about uh, the Magistar, but in the Incarnon form. Maybe been away from the game, you don't even know this weapon got the Incarnon form. Welcome back. So, first of all, let me show you what this weapon is exactly. Maybe you have the normal in map Magistar and you have no idea the Sancti Magistar exists because you're using a different syndicate. Let me help you. So, the difference is my Sancti Magister is way better and you want to be as powerful as possible in the Star Shard. So the Sancti Magister is the Syndicate variant of the Magister available from New Loka. That's the Syndicate you want to look at. And it has a unique ability. This is what you don't know. It, uh, to heal the Wilder and nearby allies when connecting with heavy attack. And also gives a chance to resist statue effects when wielded. More specifics, this weapon deals primary impact damage, striking enemies with heavy attack, release 15 meter pulse that heals the user and allies for 5% for of the damage dealt. More damage, more heal. When wielded, the wielder receives 20% chance to resist statue effect. So now the healing and the statue effect chance is two different abilities within the weapon they don't go like okay if, if if i proc the healing part i'm gonna proc this no 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 they're separated okay so the healing is always there when you have your attack the, st the statue chance uh, resistant is gonna be 20 percent a chance you can use either the shattering storm or the crushing havoc on conclave that's about that now you say hey why are you even showing us these things nobody cares about these things yeah i know but that is how we do it here teaching you about the weapon and what it does so when you go and play with the weapon in your mind you know what you're doing so when you play around with mods and stuff you know what i mean all right you'll thank me later so let's test the weapon against level 195 have you corrupted guns not 100 not 195 be sure you are in Naromon always let's go okay first of all you need to know that we need to activate the incarnate form by reaching six combo multipliers so we're gonna test the weapon in two parts the first part we're just gonna be hitting them until 12 there you go Boom, 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 boom. You already can feel the power of the weapon. It speaks itself. Okay, let's go. Resummon them and do one last time while the incarnate form is active. I mean, we're already doing red crits. This weapon is no joke. And worry not, I will show you the evolutions that you need to put, everything that you need. As you saw, 712,000 viral on 195 heavy craft gunners uh, those are one of the toughest units uh, in the game so what we're gonna do now is very simple i'm gonna take you in a trip destination steel path uh, let's go
I hope you enjoyed your trip. So let's talk build now. All right, the first evolution is the base evolution that when you reach six combo multipliers and then you do heavy attack, you're gonna activate the Incarnon form. The Incarnon form means you're gonna have 100% melee damage, you're gonna have 30 uh, initial combo, 50% heavy attack wind up speed. 10% sprint speed and 10% bullet jump. This means, yes, you can build the weapon into a heavy attack, but you have to always go change all the evolutions if you're gonna do that, which makes it like, uh, today video I'm gonna show you both ways on building this weapon on the normal and the heavy. So you have uh, from both worlds. All right, so let's go. The evolution two, Edge of Justice. That's what I choose. Increase damage by 20 when uh, with only melee weapon equipped, 40% attack speed. So remove all those weapons and use this weapon and you're gonna be flying. I didn't do that because I don't know if you really want to take it off. The second ability is the increase damage by 20 when channeled ability active, increase fall off by 100%. You don't care about this. You want to keep the edge of justice. Maybe you face a sortie that you need to use only melee. Now moving next to evolution 3. Of course, we have three options there. 30% heavy attack wind up speed. You're gonna be using this one if you're gonna build them for heavy. And you're gonna be using Orikin Reach for range. If you wanna build it the speed. And you're gonna be using the 100% slam radius if you wanna play as radius style. So these are actually three styles. Heavy, speed, slam. Three in one. Moving to the last evolution, which is uh, the first critical parallel. You're going to be increased critical chance, uh, increased critical damage. Like, more critical chance, less critical damage. Uh, the next one is going to be critical chance, statue chance 8-8. Eight, eight. And then you have the flashing bleed. 50% chance of bleed on impact statue effect. So, you can use, you say, huh, this is crit and so on and so on. Yeah, 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 I know, it's crit and so it's good, I agree with you. But, you cannot resist the power of slash that's something we can agree on okay now moving to the real deal now let's go first of all you want to know that what i used exactly the reason i used night is so i don't boost the weapon in any way the archon shards are health regeneration they are not crimson shards for critical damage and here we go this is the aura mod i use still charge and here is the fury arcane fury arcane, arcane strike there is no eclipse nothing boosting the weapon damage it's just straight forward okay here is the first build first of all let me call it for you uh, speed so you get an idea one two three four five there you go you already took a picture now i can talk about the mods shattering storm for the aura distance sorry condition overload for melee damage uh, and uh, of course, uh, no, no, who doesn't know condition overload? Blood rush uh, for critical chance per combo multiplier, uh, sacrificial steel, uh, vicious frost, uh, primate fever strike, uh, whipping wound, organ shatter, primate fury. All right. So now, if you don't, if you're gonna use only this weapon to go to push for the end game, you can sacrifice the primate fury, and you're gonna be using uh, what? You're gonna be using faction mod. That's what you want to do. All right. As much you're playing in normal star shard or steel path. But you're not going beyond enemies maybe let's say let's say around 3000 level 3000 of 3000 even actually you can reach even level 6000 probably around if my promox lead is okay so yeah after six if you plan to go beyond 6000 use faction mode instead of fury and you're a happy uh, guy but remember you will not be able to put your epitaph so just sacrificing attack speed if you're happy with attack speed without fury yeah, test around and check how things are going. Uh, and let me show you now the heavy attack build that I come up with. Let's go. So, in the heavy attack, there is two ways on doing this. Okay. So, there is the normal way where you want to go boom, 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 smashing them. Or, there is the other way which we call the priming style. What I mean with priming is you need to prime those enemies with a secondary weapon to make them vulnerable for more damage. What I mean with that, let me show you. First, let me show you the first one where you go boom, 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 boom. The first boom, 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 you want to go primate pressure point, uh, blood rush, uh, sacrificial steal, uh, shocking touch, uh, primate fever strike, killing blow, amalgam organ shatter, and uh, primate fury. If you don't want to use fury, I mean, you can always use uh, the, hold on, uh, the corrupted uh, charge. Extra initial combo, you're gonna have 30 initial combo here, you're gonna have 40 from the Incarnon form, and you're gonna be happy. Alright, 
now you can play around you can switch things you can remove even the element if you want you can remove corrosive you put like let me give you one uh, example here you can do this you go corrupted charge instead of shocking and then you can switch the primary fever striker with faction mod okay you can do that and you can play with it the other option is i'm gonna name it i'm gonna name it this one for you pure pure heavy there you go the other option here we're gonna talk about is the other way which is you're gonna be using condition overload and you're gonna be using epitaph or nuker or any weapon that fit for priming enemies what means that you're gonna when when you go and prime enemies especially when you're using arcane encumber in your secondary weapon we like for example the epitaph you're gonna have so many stats effects on the enemies that means you're gonna have more melee damage i know this is like a bit confusing to you and so on but i'm gonna call this one heavy i'm gonna call it heavy prime okay so you get an idea what what we're talking here. i try to do it here and name it for you guys so you get an idea so now priming enemies of course gonna work with speed so don't think it's only so what the higher enemies gets you prime them to kill them faster let me show you how that works for that we need to go back to simulacrum let's go okay so how we're gonna do this exactly as follow what you want to do is because we're gonna be using the corrupted charge there you go and then we're gonna do just heavy attacks 158 there you go boom that's all you need to do you go boom 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 bustic all of them this way easy a bit easy okay that's the pure way now if you want to go in priming style which is a more advanced gameplay now as you can see here you can you go, we're going to be using corrupted charge and spoil strike you can take off the prime strike and put fever instead you can throw gladiator might i'm giving you here guys options you can throw the corrupted charger you just need to put one forma and so on and so on you can play around it the way you want you can use gladiator vice if you even want more attack speed you can play around with it and so on okay now let me put back the spoiled strike okay now moving to the heavy prime heavy prime is technically and by the way, I just want to, to show you that we're not using any heavy evolutions. So what you're seeing here is the normal attack speed evolutions. So you get an idea to boost it. You need to follow me on what I told you earlier in Gavalero on how to put the heavy attack ones. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to be using Epitaph. Why Epitaph? I'll show you. Epitaph is going to be proking cold by nature and going to be proking heat blast and viral by status and you're going to be using ogre seeker for statue duration you're going to be using secondary encumber on statue effect 24 percent chance to trigger second random statue effect means the more you hit the more chance to get you can get all the statue effects on target all at once let me show you first thing you want to do of course you need to activate the incarnate form in your weapon by reaching six combo multipliers that's the first thing you want to do okay so you're gonna be hitting it normally and then you activate the incarnate form and let me res uh, respawn the enemies because they're already dead boom 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 now what you want to do is you're going to be hitting them with epitaph you see all those status that's more melee damage to you my brothers and then you're gonna be boom eight million four million there you go you see that boom five hundred thousand boom four hundred thousand you're getting the idea now this is the more advanced gameplay i know many of you have been asking me to do this for a while but i didn't want to do it here you go here how you do it and that's it i wanted to be sure that when i do this everyone get an understanding how it works this is why i'm spending time right now explaining to you and this is how it's gonna be every time i mention a priming enemies telling you use epitaph and bye bye that's not how i do it okay all right so if I give you content, it will be a full pack baby. One more time. So you prime the enemies with your epitaph. There you go. The more stuff you have on him, the more power you're going to be. And we need to activate our incarnate form of course. There you go. I mean, they're going to be dying even if you are in heavy attack. Of course, they're going to be uh, dying. They, 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 they stand no chance, my friend. 
they stand no freaking chance. Okay, now priming them. Boom, 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 boom. And then what you're gonna do? You're gonna heavy them. Boom. 800,000. 600,000. Boom. Boom. There is no eclipse. There is nothing. Nothing. You wanna, you, you, you wanna push it further? Of course. We can push it further, of course. Uh, and I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using Wisp for this. Uh, and I'm gonna be using my S. Top S stuff. Deadly. Very deadly. And of course... I don't I, I I don't have the uh, Archon shards full Crimson active, but it's okay. You can handle yourself, boys, and you can do it. I'm sure of it. First of all, we need to activate our Incarnon form. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let me activate it by using heavy attack. Right, and now we summon the heavy corrupted gunners, the level 190. And now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be using our eclipse, using our uh, bridge surge, priming them with epitaph. Boom, 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 and then switching back to our weapon, and boom, boom, boom. Boom. The thing is, uh, at this place, you can't actually uh, get a big benefit with Eclipse because it's a bit dark and so on and so on. But you know if you know. Okay? So, I really hope this video helps you out. It's not only about the Magister build. It's about also everything else you would need about priming and how things work. Really, I hope this helps you out. Uh, and uh, I want to say, guys, if you want to see more content... Uh, I mean, it's, it's, my content is more educative in a way, and it takes a bit time, but promise you, it will help you understand the game better. So you start building things yourself over time, and you start getting used to the game more and understanding the stuff way better than I just speedrun it, and you have no clue what just hell happened. Okay? Uh, thank you so much for watching. Big love to you all. I want to say, guys, thank you so much for all the support. We're streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And anything you need, you can always join our Discord. The link is on the description. Everyone is welcome. Big love to you. Mamma mia. And see you next time.